and welcome to our live coverage of the day's news agenda around London for the Capitals clubs. There's less than a week left of the transfer window, where did that go? Arsenal have signed Lucas Torreira, Socrates Papastathopoulos, Stefan Liechtsteiner, Matteo Guendouzi and Bern Leno, while West Ham have snapped up Jack Wilshire, Lukasz Fabianski, Issa Diop, Felipe Anderson, Andriy Yarmolenko and Ryan Fredericks. Despite things remaining quiet on the transfer front, Tottenham have been busy off the field, handing new long-term deals to Sun Hung Min and Eric Lamella. Meanwhile in West London, former Napoli boss Maurizio Sarri has been reunited with midfielder Jorginho at Chelsea, with the Italian international signing a five-year deal with the Blues. But there remains question marks over the futures of Eden Hazard and Thibaut Courtois, with the Belgian pair both linked with the move to Spain. We'll be bringing you all the updates from the capital here throughout the day, keeping on top of all of the latest transfer news and speculation around the Premier League. Follow all the latest updates below. Keep up to date with the latest news, features and exclusives from Football London via the free Football London app for iPhone and Android. Available to download from the App Store and Google Play, 806 Barcelona have reached an agreement to sign Arturo Vidal from Bayern Munich. The 31-year-old Chilean midfielder will set the Catalan Giants back £27 million, and the midfielder will put pen to paper on a three-year deal. The Spanish champions had been keen to take Paris Saint-Germain's French international Adrian Rabiot to Camp Nou, but failed to agree a deal with PSG, with Ernesto Valverde still keen to add to his midfield options, Barca Chiefs pushed to bring in Vidal and have agreed to close the deal. Vidal said, thanks to Bayern and all the fans. I really enjoyed my time in Munich. I would like to also thank the club for giving me the chance to embrace a new challenge in Barcelona. 805 Manchester United have completed the signing of Rhys Devine from arch rivals Manchester City, according to reports. Our friends at the Manchester Evening News claim the young defender will make the move to Old Trafford and join up with the Red Devils under 18 squad for the new season. 801 Catalina Carjan has confirmed to join Arsenal at the end of the year. Whilst most of the attention has been on who Unai Emery has brought in to bolster his first team squad, there has been several new additions at youth level. The Gunners pipped Manchester United to the signing of young striker Sam Greenwood last month while teenaged left-back Joel Lopez revealed via social media that he is to sign professional terms with the North London outfit when he turns 17, Karjan find himself in a similar position, although he will complete his move to Arsenal upon turning 16 in December. Full story, photo by Stuart McFarlane, Arsenal FC via Getty Images, 8 o'clock beat the drop betting offer we're giving Patty Power customers £1 million to play beat the drop, for free. All you have to do is answer 20 questions. T. How to play beat the drop playing the game is easy. Buy your ticket and pick the number of questions you want to answer. Then, pick your first question and either go all in, if you are courageous enough, or split your pot. After answering the questions, you'll be able to keep the winnings you have left. Play here now sign up, log in and you'll receive your £1 million pot. Answer questions and any money left in the pot is yours. One free entry per customer to a £1 million pot to play a 20 questions version of the game. The former England number 1 has been frozen out at Manchester City having spent last season on loan at West Ham. And Burnley are in desperate for a new keeper after Tom Heaton and Nick Pope picked up injuries. According to The Sun, Hart is undergoing his medical at Turf Moor. Image, Sean Botterill, Getty Images, 1600 Gonzalo Higuain finalized his transfer to AC Milan this week, with the Serie A side paying Juventus £16 million for a loan and to have the option to make the deal permanent in a year by paying a fee of £32.04 million. The Argentinian striker has revealed that Chelsea were interested in signing him, and that Maurizio Sarri in particular was keen on a reunion, with the pair working together at Napoli. Read here, image, Lars Baron, FIFA, FIFA via Getty Images, 1535 Chelsea have confirmed that Alvaro Morata will wear the number 29 shirt this season. 
Murata has decided to change from the number 9 he wore last season to celebrate and pay tribute to his family after his wife Alice gave birth to twins Alessandro and Leonardo on Sunday, the 29th of July. It is a day I will never forget, to welcome my twin sons into the world. My family is so important to me and I want to honor them and my wife, Alice, when I am on the pitch which is why I have decided to take a different number for the new season and remember this special day by adding the number 2 to my shirt. I am sorry to the fans who may have bought a number 9 with my name already, but I hope you understand my tribute and that it will not be a problem and we can make you a new one with the 29. Thank you for your support and I hope this year there will be lots more to celebrate. Image, Charles Maquillan, Getty Images, 1526 West Ham could make a move for Brazilian winger Bernard. Bernard is a free agent after leaving Shakhtar this summer. AC Milan have been tipped to make a move but West Ham are ready to step up their interest. Image, Lawrence Griffiths, Getty Images, 1456 The Spurs youngster sat down with football, London and spoke about his sudden rise, his Chelsea hero and teammate Oliver Skip. Read it all here Luke Amos in action against AC Milan 1442 Arsenal have confirmed that Alex Awobi has signed a new long-term contract. Speaking to Arsenal.com, Unai Emery said, I'm very pleased Alex has signed a new contract with us. He is a great example of a player who can succeed from the academy through hard work and I look forward to working with him and our other talented young players in the squad. I would like to congratulate Alex on his new contract and look forward to his continued contribution to the club. Image, Stuart McFarlane, Arsenal FC via Getty Images, 1432 West Brom have completed the signing of Manchester City youngster Tosin Adarabayo Yo. The central defender has moved to the Hawthorns on a season-long loan. 1409 Maurizio Sarri admits he doesn't know if Thibaut Courtois will stay at Chelsea, but he believes William Wilt Belgian goalkeeper is entering the final year of his Stamford Bridge contract and shows no sign of penning an extension. Julian has also been linked with a move away, with Manchester United keen on the Brazilian. He returned late from his post-World Cup break with Sarri seeking urgent talks with the player. Photo by David Ramos, FIFA, FIFA via Getty Images, 1406 Pedro has been speaking to Chelsea's official website after signing a new one-year deal at Stamford Bridge. Given there was the possibility that he could leave for absolutely nothing come next summer, the Blues have moved swiftly to secure his services. Read here. Pedro celebrates his goal against Inter Milan, photo by Valerie H. AFP, Getty Images, 1350 Pep Guardiola has spoken about Maurizio Sarri and Chelsea ahead of the clash at Wembley. First of all I am happy that the manager of that level is in the Premier League I will learn a lot to see him every weekend. Being here I feel that I am going to improve a lot around his ideas in England. I saw three games and he got it. He did it. The team already in a short time plays like he wants and they need more time to get everything but the ideas are there. Always Chelsea are a big rival. Image, Francesco Pecoraro, Getty Images, 1330 Toby Alder is set on a move to Manchester United and may force a transfer by running down the rest of his contract. According to the Mirror, the Belgian defender is so keen to move to Old Trafford that he is ready to snub a transfer elsewhere if he does not get it. Full story 1247 Roy Hodgson remains confident of keeping Wilfred Zaha at Crystal Palace. According to the Mirror, Zaha has his heart set on a move to Chelsea after turning down a new deal. Palace will only consider a huge offer for their talisman with less than a week remaining in the transfer window. And boss Hodgson hopes the 25-year-old will still be at Selhurst Park for the Premier League opener with Fulham. Full story image, Stu Forster, Getty Images, 1237 Bayern Munich chairman Karl-Heinz Rummenig says Anthony Marshall is not a transfer target this summer. Marshall has been linked with a move away from Old Trafford, with Juventus, Tottenham, Chelsea and Bayern all reportedly interested in the Frenchman. But Rummenig has denied that the German champions will be making a move. 
Speaking to Build, he said, We have four wingers, Frank Ribery, Arjun Robin, Kingsley Coleman and Serge Gnabry. And Alfonso Davies will also join in January. You must not overdo it, like some clubs do, or you create a problem for the coach, image, Bryn Lennon, Getty Images, 12.30 Maurizio Sarri is holding his press conference ahead of Chelsea's Community Shield clash with Manchester City on Sunday. You can follow every word he says right here. Image, Greg Wood, AFP, Getty Images, 12.20 Football, London's Arsenal correspondent Charles Watts has all the latest on Aaron Ramsey's contract situation, the Usman Dembele links and the speculation surrounding Ivan Gazidis. Read here, photo by Alex Caparos, Getty Images, 12.14 Mauricio Pochettino says he is not relaxed, ahead of the final week of the transfer window. Tottenham are yet to make a single signing this summer, but the Spurs manager says he trusts those above him to complete the right deals. Full quotes 11.49 as reported by Sky Sports, Aston Villa manager Steve Bruce says Tottenham are nowhere near their valuation of Jack Grealish. Football. London understands Spurs remain confident of completing a deal for the midfielder before the transfer window shut, but it seems they will have to increase their offer before sealing the deal. 11.39 Leicester are seriously considering a move for Adnan Yanuzai, according to Leicestershire Live. The Foxes are eyeing a replacement for Riyad Mahrez, and Yanuzai, who has a 60 million euros release clause at Real Sociedad, is reportedly a target. However, former side Manchester United have the option to buy him back for a lower fee. Image, David Ramos, FIFA, FIFA via Getty Images, 11.23 According to Calcio Mercado, Real Madrid midfielder Mateo Kovacic is keen on move to the Premier League this summer, with Chelsea his first choice. The Croatian midfielder had been linked with a switch to Manchester United, with Jose Mourinho reportedly having a €60 million Euros offer accepted by Real Madrid earlier this week. But the report claims the 24-year-old rejected the potential switch to Old Trafford and would prefer Chelsea thanks to their style of football. Image, Eider Al Calde, Getty Images, 11.03 reports from Turkey claim there is a high probability Shkodran Mustafi will join Galatasaray on loan if Arsenal cannot offload him permanently. said to be looking at a fee of 25 million euros for Mustafi, Turkish publication Fanatic claim he could head to the Super League giants if Arsenal cannot find a buyer. An Emery has already brought in Socrates Papastathopoulos from Borussia Dortmund this summer, while the likes of Callum Chambers and Konstantinos Mavropanos are expected to feature more this season. Drawn Mustafi in action against Chelsea, image, Stuart McFarlane, Arsenal FC via Getty Images, 1057 Arsenal defender Laurent Koscielny has suggested he will leave the Emirates once his contract expires in 2020, signed from French side Low Rient in 2010, the centre-back has been a key figure for the Gunner since his £8.5 million move. Given that the player will be 34 years old when he completes a decade in North London, he feels that he will more than likely move on. Read here. Laurent Koscielny, Image, Catherine Ivel, Getty Images, 1036 West Ham, want to secure the services of Real Betis forward Antonio Sanabria, according to reports emerging from Spain. With eight new arrivals at the London Stadium so far this summer, Manuel Pellegrini could well add to his squad in the final week of the transfer window. The Paraguay international scored eight goals in 17 games for Betis last season. Read here, Sanabria during Real Betis defeat against Valencia, image, Cristina Quicler, AFP, Getty Images, 1029 Liverpool want over £20 million for Danny Ings. striker is free to leave Anfield this summer but the Reds are holding out for a big fee. The Echo reports Southampton, Leicester City and Newcastle United are all keen on Ings but Liverpool won't budge from their valuation. Image, Clive Brunskill, Getty Images, 958 Everton are believed to be one of a number of clubs interested in a deal for Chelsea striker Michy Batshuayi. Having enjoyed a successful loan spell with Borussia Dortmund last campaign, it appears that he could be set to stay in West London this season under new boss Maurizio Sarri.
However, the Toffees are believed to have shown interest in the Belgian international, while Atletico Madrid, Sevilla and Valencia are also said to be keen on securing his signature. Michi Batshuayi's the ball. Image, Patrick Herzog, AFP, Getty Images, 942 There are still question marks over Wilfred Zaha's Crystal Palace future as we enter the final week of the transfer window. According to the Mirror, the winger has told his teammates that he is determined to leave and seal a big money switch to Chelsea. Having attracted the attention of Everton so far this transfer window, Zaha could well move on before Thursday's deadline. Image, Christopher Lee, Getty Images.